an opening statement and then we'll start some questions. Um, well, I just had a little joke with uh, the three of us that we are all um, ex-members of the uh, Southeastern Conference um, um, and very happy to be here um, at Florida State. Um, good win tonight. Obviously, uh, you know, goals change games. Um, you know, we obviously always want to come out um, with a fast start. And uh, obviously the two people at this table um, were a big part of that. Um, Joe's big ball in behind um, to uh, to Jody. And, you know, we talked about it. The game winning goal Friday night was, was Ron and Ron being willing to run and uh, willing to, to cover the ground. And tonight it was uh, Beata. Um, you know, Jody, Jody kind of gets fouled and tripped up in the box there. And, and I looked at it during the play, Beata's even with about two or three other pit kids, but Beata just outruns them. She outworks them and uh, it's heart and grit and guts and everything that she's about. And uh, she's there to just put it away. Um, but then, you know, they kind of found their way midway through the first half and went into the locker room um, with, uh, with a little bit of um, possession and a little bit, you know, we were on our heels. We gave away, you know, some bad fouls, um, which gave them some chances and uh, unnerved us a little bit. Um, but as this group has done all year, um, you know, they came out on fire in the second half and uh, delivered um, the second and third punches and pretty much, uh, by all intents and purposes, put the game away. And uh, we, when, when you have kids that want to win really badly and um, when you have a lot of talent, um, it, it's not easy, um, but it certainly helps. And uh, obviously these two and, and many others were, were significant tonight. Um, nice to get, you know, Friday night was nice, 4-1 win, but you know, you never want to give up goals. And nice to uh, get a clean sheet tonight and uh, nice to have five, six days of rest before we go again. On Beata, I think that was your first goal since Duke. Um, how big was that for you to be able to score that one? Uh, no, I love scoring, so that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's her first goal since Duke, but, you know, and, and we, we said this to her, right? We go uh, after Duke, right? We, we played um, um, Carolina yeah. a week later, right? And uh, she, was, she was, even though we didn't win that game, she was the best player on the field for us. And, uh, and then you go to the ACC tournament and, and what she did there. So, you know, um, re regardless of, you know, it kills her more than anybody, not, not scoring goals, um, but she's a massive part of what we're doing and a uh, big contributor. And just for you personally, like, did that take any like um, weight off your shoulder, you know, to be able to score after a little bit or? Um, I don't know. I feel like you always have to strike your that pressure. So even though, it, even if I would have more goals uh, this season, I think I still would have the pressure. So I don't think that really would change. But of course, I, it's nice scoring and that job that JB and like the ball from Joe uh, was all incredible. So I'm just like happy to be part of it and be able to score. Hey Joe, can you talk about that ball? That was a, you know, perfect. You got that lob that pass into the, you know, um, Jody and that kind of set that score. Talk about that pass, what you saw. Um, I just saw JB running and I know she's fast, so display the ball and let her do the work and um, I trust my teammates I trust Beata and Jody up top so I'm gonna give those balls every time it's, it's sim very similar you know to, to Ron's goal Friday night right her coming inside playing a big ball over the top to Jody and it results in the goal same thing in the first goal tonight and then same thing on the third goal tonight so um, a little connection there um, right in front of us coach Earlier this week, you know, we talked about the Friday Sunday having to, you know, just get through Friday to get to Sunday. But, you know, how have your ladies handled, you know, just the short rest and the maturity, and you know, obviously focusing on the task at hand and stuff that kind of we talked about earlier this week. And now that you're through it, ready to get to that rest, but just the way they've handled kind of the, the last couple of days. Well, you know, unsurprisingly, like pros, right? Like they do everything. Um, they, they they were great. Um, it was really nice on Friday night to get those three goals pretty quickly in the in the second half and um, I think both of these guys played just over 60 minutes um, Friday night even though they wanted to play more and they weren't happy about it it was it was what was going to help us coming into today um, and then but I think also we, we, we were in moments um, I, I don't know if it was tired um, but we talked right before we started the second half he said these pits winning some first and second balls right um, they're, they're, they 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 got a little more 
juice in winning some of those balls and uh, at the in that you know for second half of the first half and um, you know we're better than that and and they all looked at me and nodded their heads they know that we're better than that and uh, again that that's just that's mentality um, really and they came out with certainly the right mentality and, and put the game away yeah, I mean, um, both players scored in 117, you guys pointed this out, 117 and 118. How big is that to score, you know, to open the half to kind of dictate the terms of the game? I think it helps a lot. It gives a lot of, like, we're really good. We talked about it here earlier, as you heard, about that we're good in the start of the half, usually, and that we can create something out, out of it and to put pressure on their back line. And I think that when we get results from it, it's really, um, it makes us not only, like, get us some confidence, but also gets us going more. Nice. So it seemed like early in the game, you guys were going on down the right side a lot. Was that the plan um, from the beginning of the game, or do you just kind of take where the where they where the game is going at that point? And it just happened to be mostly on that on that side. Yeah, you know, um, Heather Payne's pretty good, um, and Lauren is very much a forward thinker, and uh, and. Um, <laughs> I was honestly hoping that she she wouldn't kept playing wouldn't keep playing forward because we were trying to and it's kind of been the mo of Mark Krikorian's you know program here is move the ball back and forth tire them out right and the way they were defending I felt like we should try to do that a little bit and tire a couple of their kids out mm -hmm. um, but Heather kept getting herself into these higher spaces and Lauren saw it and she wanted to play it and continue to do it right um, I think. I think she, Lauren, you know, like I said, look, looks forward a little bit more than Heather, and that's just that's just experience. You're talking about a third year kid versus a first year kid. So, um, and then you know, Jody obviously is is constantly with with Lauren on her right foot, Heather on her right foot, and Jody wanting to run in behind. Um, I think that's why you saw that. 